Welcome to this Wise All training video. So in this little session we're going to teach you a little bit about how to create your own custom date formats. So to start with we've got a little list of names here. Uh, the theme being these are people who would do a much better job of voicing this video than I am. And next to their names we've got each person's date of birth. Oh, just notice we're missing David Attenborough's there. Not to worry, we'll sort that out later. So what our job to do here is we're going to create a custom date format that's going to show these dates rather than just the old standard boring day slash month slash year. We're going to show it so that say Morgan, Morgan Freeman was born on a Monday. The date's going to come out as Monday 1 June 1937. Okay, so the first job is to select all the cells we're going to format. So we'll just click and drag with the mouse to do that. Nice and easy. Then we're going to head into the Format Cells dialog box. So a couple of ways of doing that. If you want to use the mouse, you can right click on the selected cells and look for the option that says Format Cells. Um, of course, true geeks do it using keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to hold down the Control key on my keyboard and hit the number one. And that'll do the same, th the same thing. It opens the Format Cells dialog box. So in here we've got a little section on the Number tab. We've got a list of different date formats, sorry, format categories. And one of those is called Date. The slightly disappointing thing is that when we click into the Date category, look at the list on the right hand side. We don't have much choice. A uh, few small variations on the, uh, on the one we already have. But not the precise one that we want. So what we're going to do is head down to the bottom of this list and look for the option called Custom here. So click on the word Custom. You'll just have to ignore all the strange symbols that appear in the, in the list. Look for this little box up here just underneath the word Type. So we've got um, the default date format. So if I just move this box across to the right, you can see that the DDMMYYYY symbols correspond to the symbols, the numbers you see in the date formats that's already applied. In fact, you can see that even better in the little sample box up at the top here. So 2Ds represents the 0, 1, a slash, 2Ms for the 0, 6, and so on and so on. So what we're going to do is select all that text, just click and drag with the mouse, and then hit the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it. Now don't worry too much about what you see in the sample box after you've done that. You can see that the uh, the dates disappeared, and it's been replaced with a with a big number, thirteen thousand six hundred and sixty-seven. Again, another one for the geeks out there. If uh, you're interested in what that number actually means, this is the number of days since the first of January nineteen hundred, which, using one of the date systems in Excel, is the earliest date you can have. Um, we're going to ignore that for now. Um, what we're going to do is start typing in our own date format in this little box here. So, all I'm going to do is to start with is type in a single D. And keep an eye on what happens in the sample box when I do that. You'll see it completely disappears and gets replaced with the number 1 instead. And the number 1 there corresponds to the 1st of June in Morgan Freeman's date of birth. If I type in a second D, I'll get a zero one. one that's still not quite what I want. If I type in a third D, however, things get a bit more interesting. So let's see that. So Morgan Freeman, there we go. He's born on a Tuesday. If I wanted the full word Tuesday, I can just type in a fourth D. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so after I've shown the day of the week that the guy was born on, I'm going to type in a space. And I'd like to see the day of the month he was born on as well. So to do that, I'm going to type in a single D. So I'll just move the mouse there. So you can see now it's going to Tuesday 1. Then I want the name of the month, so I'm going to type in another space, and then start typing in M's to represent the months. So similar system, if I type in a single M, I get 6, corresponding to the 6th month, June. I type in a second M, I get 0, 06. A third M will come out as June, and a fourth will show me the full month name. So all that remains, if I type in another space, is to show the year combination, year um, portion. So I type in an, a Y comes out as 37. Now, slightly weirdly with the years, you can only technically have either two Ys or four. If I left it as a single Y and clicked OK, Excel would automatically apply a second Y to the format. So if I type in a second Y anyway, nothing changes in the format. If I type in a third Y, I get 1937. 
again if I left that as is and clicked OK Excel would apply a fourth Y symbol to my format anyway so I might as well just type that in anyway and there we go we've got the full format for my date that I want so if I click the OK button you should see that all my dates now are formatted and I can see what day of the week people were born on pity I missed David Attenborough's date of birth out there never mind so there you go, that's how to create your own custom date formats. Quick little reminder of how that works. Select some cells, right click and choose Format Cells. Make sure you've got the Number tab selected on the dialog box. Head down to the Custom section and in the box labeled Type, type in your own combination of D's, M's and Y's to create your own custom date format.